Hey guys, here's a grocery haul from Marks and Spencers that I filmed about two weeks ago and only just got around to uploading. <laughs> um, first I got some organic milk. I tasted some organic milk. I've never actually tasted the difference between regular milk and organic and I realized that organic milk tastes so much better than regular milk. So um, yes, we're probably going to stick to organic now. And then I got a pack of 15 mixed uh, sizes of eggs. They are free range. Got some cashew nuts. My son loves cashew nuts, so I just picked that up for him to snack on while we were there, but he decided he didn't want any. Got some chipotle paste. I used that in my chilies. And I got some butter. This is a soft spreadable butter, but it hasn't got any other ingredients in it. So it's really good. I got a pack of chicken legs. I think this was five pounds. I'm sorry, I lost the receipt. And then I got some streaky bacon for three pounds, as you can see, <laughs> and some sweet corn. The sweet corn was just out of this world amazing. The reason why I went to Marks and Spencers was because I was missing some really good, delicious quality vegetables. Got some sugar snap peas back there, some uh, a head of cauliflower and some super sweet sweet corn, another amazing product from M&S. And then I got these three peppers, they were so huge and they only cost about 60 pence each. I don't know if that's expensive or not, but I thought it was cheap for Marks and Spencers and they were so big. And I got some um, baby grape tomatoes and a pack of three courgettes, a big bag of spinach, some spring onions, bananas, <laughs> and um, two packets of tender stem broccoli. They had a lot of special offers on their fruit and vegetables, so I got a good deal on pretty much all of them. I also got some green beans. These are nice and fine, just the way I like them, and some white mushrooms. Then I got these delicious Seasons Gold Potatoes. I'm assuming they're like Yukon Gold Potatoes, but they're really delicious and sweet and waxy and just wonderful for steaming or roasting. Whole, really good. So the m and I went to is near a Afro-Caribbean market. So I went and I got some stuff from there. I got some goat meat, some skinned chicken wings. I got some Persian cucumbers and I got a back there a piece of yam, which is like potatoes, but really fibrous and starchy. So that's what I got from uh, Marks and Spencers. And then a week later, I went back there. <laughs> and um, because these hauls are both quite short, I just decided to put them together as one. So here's what I got the next week when I went grocery shopping at Marks and Spencers. Um, I've been shopping at Aldi and Little lately, but I don't know, the quality hasn't really been as good. And it just kind of made me yearn for very good quality fruit and veg. So I decided to go to the very best, the most expensive, which was m and I got some porridge there, and then I got a loaf of white sliced bread, and then I got this special pasta, which is like a little pearl pasta, not couscous, but um, bigger, but kind of like Israeli couscous, the giant one. And I bought it for a recipe, a Laura Vitale recipe from her cookbook. Um, and it just looks really good. It's like a soup recipe with beef and pasta and that kind of thing. I got another pack of chicken legs. They just, there's such a nice, easy, convenient way to roast chicken so you don't have to deal with a whole chicken. I got some more eggs, another cauliflower. I got some natural cottage cheese. I like to use this on toast with a drizzle of honey. It's really, really good. I also like it mixed with prawns and put it in a baked potato. I got three bottles of um, milk, a cucumber, a bag of carrots, a stir fry bag of stir fry vegetables, and a bag of uh, mixed greens. This is kale and chard, Swiss chard. Uh, I got another couple of bags of green beans. They were just amazing, really crisp and wonderful. And um, oh yeah, if you guys are wondering what happened to my hand, I cut it with a pair of scissors while I was wrapping presents one time. And then I got uh, some more of the potatoes and some sweet onions, which were just delicious. Some more grape tomatoes, two heads of broccoli, 
And I got more peppers because they were, I just can't believe how cheap they were. I don't know. Is 60p per pepper cheap or expensive? Can you let me know in the comments below? I've never actually stopped to look at prices or anything. I got uh, two and a bit bunches of bananas. And I got two mangoes. Some ja pink lady apples. Um, nectarines and a big pineapple back there and I also got a bag of seedless easy peeler clementines but yes I quickly stopped off at Waitrose to buy my husband's milk as well and then I went to the Afro-Caribbean market across the road from Marks and Spencer and I got some um, plantains and a skinned whole chicken the butcher skinned it right in front of me and it literally took 30 seconds it was like watching a magic show or something it was amazing so that's what i got from marks and spencers over two weeks i hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul thank you so much for watching take care bye